Okay, I thought I'd do a video on the uh, Samsung robot backs in the uh, 7000 series. If you have uh, 7000 series and your batteries go dead, I don't think it's worth the time. <laughs> if you want to uh, get into them, you can set them in a vise. Get a pry them open right here, right around the perimeter with a flat blade screwdrivers. And uh, there's a circuit board that controls the charging on them and a whole lot of other things, I assume. And then there is the uh, lithium ion 18650s in them. Uh, the 1800 milliamp hours have six batteries, the 36 for the larger capacity batteries which are not interchangeable <laughs> between models so the 7040's got the smaller battery 7050 uh, and the higher models in the 7000 series have the double capacity batteries but I tried to swap out the circuit boards and see if I could use a bigger capacity capacity battery on the smaller uh, 7040 and we switched to circuit boards. Can't it ain't gonna work? So Samsung's got it figured out. They don't want you messing around with these, I assume. So it is what it is. Hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, me, yeah, if I were to buy another robot, when I buy another robot vacuum, I won't buy one that doesn't run at least uh, an hour to a one to two hours. Um, I get about thirty forty five minutes on the Samsung, so I'm not impressed with that runtime. So. Uh, heads up <laughs> uh, you could tear into these and desolder the circuit board from the battery then you have to uh, get the insulation off desolder the contacts and you can change out the batteries um, is it worth it uh, no <laughs> just buy a new battery anyway hopefully this helps somebody out let's tear down on these things and uh, this is what the circuit board looks like So you got a positive and a negative contact for the battery pack and then the independent contacts, from what I understand, are to monitor the charging on the different configurations for the banks in here. Make sure the batteries are evenly charged. So There it is. <laughs>